tired. Not gonna lie, this is kind of desolate looking. I guess this is where the animals like it. It's kind of craggy looking. It looks like old time, like, let's go to Thailand's weirdly. I'll dig it down in the hole. Pretty clouds today, though. What do you say, no hole here? Oh, no. no. It's not a good sign. Hey, this really does help stabilize, y'all. Ah, I'm bouncing all over the place. This better move. I like this. This is $7 nourishment. We're still going. Sit up here. No, I'm gonna put it back on after here and cross. I can go across this fine, but I'll hang up. Almost smacked me. You gonna try it anyway? No. I'll... You're just trying to get balance between the hole. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Gotta take his rack off so we can make it over the next kerplubber. That's what you want to call it. I don't know why I shut that door. It's hot as Hades in here. It's only 47 degrees outside, but it's hot. So he takes this little rack that sticks out the back that he hauls his whatever he harvests on and his sled and all that other crap. And then he comes back and drives over and then puts it back on over there because we would never make it to the hole without bending something, breaking something, or doing worse. Still drug. Still drug. It's me. Blame <laughs> it on me. A lot of land down here. That is a pretty, pretty spot. The road is not a pretty, pretty spot. That's a pretty, pretty spot. Mm. He has run up to check some traps and I have got to add some pee pews to my because all I had was regulars and he had hollow points. So I'm the wife that steals ammunition. Sorry. All right, I'm fully loaded now. He went way on around back to the end of that uh, pond. So, uh, we do not know. I can't walk that way. So, he left me here. Which really is not that far because he did not. He left the back of the Jeep open, the back of the tracker open. So, um,. So, I'm not going to be that far from him, because he wouldn't have done that if I was going to be that far from him. I give the man credit. He does take care of me very well.
So if we left the back door open, something could just crawl up in here with me. Me and my gorgeous hair. Look at that. I'm telling you. This hair was meant for more than trapping today, y'all. Look at that. Hopefully he's got something. He's been in a grouchy mood. There's a big deer, look, there's a buck in the doe. Right there, see him? See the buck and the doe? Do you see him right there? It's a little big buck. I don't know if my pit, the camera can see him or not. Right here. Yeah, about right here. There's a little big buck and a little, little doe. He's like, come on, honey. Hello. Ain't the cute. Well, it's good, things are stirring, though. Yeah. There's a road that's flooded. How many did you set some over here? Yeah, I'll set some down here. Let's set them It's pretty flat here. Like that super highways down to this flooded spot. Tell them what was grinning at us up there at your other trap. Big old possum. That's not worth anything. <laughs> I always like it when the sun splits over a shade and hits a field halfway. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty flat. I just got to be careful. Touch that at all. I don't think much stir. That is a beautiful old tree. That is gorgeous. It's a foothold right there. I can see it. I don't know if you can see it. So, none of these down here? I don't think nothing moved here last night. I've got three more to check out there in the swamp. Another night, that's it. I'll go out there. Take my okay. Feet. I'll stay here. Right in the shade of a leaning pine. That is so pretty. That would be gorgeous to make a wreath out of. I'm just saying, I'm out here crafting. It's so pretty. That old man's beard. Usnia. Ouch. Uh, time for me to sit and stay. Where are you coming out at? Right there. Okay. It's all place I can go. Hope he has something. He's been so grumpy. Ch 
check it his tone walk through the field. I have been banished to the tracker because I cannot walk that far or cover that rough acreage. I will say that he started changing to a new bobcat lure. And um, we both think it's hilarious because this new bobcat lure smells like pot. Okay, and how do I know what pot smells like? Okay, retired parole officer. Okay, um, it is loud. Okay, we'll just say that loud, like loud. Like he always like keeps the bottle and everything. He's like, if I get pulled over and somebody says something, he's like, I'm gonna say here, smell it. It smells oh, like it's bad. <laughs> Like, his, when he's been airing out his tracker, every time he has to get pit bobcat sets out, he takes it, he has to air his tracker out. Because it is that. <laughs> Works really good. Stinks. I never understood why people wanted their house to smell like that. But either way. Well, let's see where he is now. Hang on. He's away. He's just fixing around around the bend up there. He just rounded the bend. We will see. He just went around that bend. We will see if he has anything when he comes back. He says he is going to harvest the possum because it's a nice big one. And he's let four or five go already. So he is going to take that one because we only have, we only handle a few possum hides a year. And they do sell. People do like them. They're real actually a lot prettier people think um we just prefer to leave the possums alive and let them eat the bugs and stuff but every once in a while when they keep getting any gad dumb traps you just kind of have to say okay you want to die i take you home but i'm really hoping he's got some beaver because he's got a lot of got a lot of people wanting some beaver pelts next year so he's got to get some beaver and for everybody watching tonight after i've edited this or today how whenever i get it uploaded Happy Christmas Eve, Merry Christmas Eve, Happy Holidays. This is what we do for fun on Christmas Eve around here. We will have the video from the farm and mom and dad's tomorrow. Tomorrow will be late though, it will be real late before I get uploaded because we're not going until way late tomorrow evening. Well, y'all hate to say this, but that's not a good sight. Because here he comes without his wagon. Which means if he's caught something, it ain't dead. He's coming back for the rifle. False alarm. He didn't catch nothing, so he left his sled out there. Because he'll start at that end in the morning and check and come back this way. If he don't catch nothing on Christmas, he's going to be ply blank grumpy next week. Everybody, start praying for a Christmas miracle. He did get a real nice coyote the other day, though. So funny, because we rounded the corner coming the other way, and he just grinned at us like, Oh, I made a mistake. I'm sorry. I made a mistake. And he's still there, like... I don't want no consequence, consequence, consequence. Okay. Here come the consequence, consequence, consequence. Hey, pretty though. You are a very pretty little booger butt. You are. You're a very pretty little booger butt. Not so bright, but very pretty. You gonna play possum now? No. I know, and you got some pretty markers. Look at the mirrors on him. Look at the mirrors on him. You wanna get some photography done before you. You pretty boy. Smile. Playing possum. <laughs> He's very pretty. He's got a very pretty pelt. Sorry, bub. How far can you run? <laughs> I'd say it's what's in that trail over there. Probably. Look how fat he is. Mm -hmm. You're Where's fat my... boy. Hang on. Where's my steak? Yeah, at least your steak. Because he's a big one. Hang on. I'll turn away. 
La di da di da. We should look at the beautiful sky. La di da di da. Da di da di da. Da di da di da. Just don't make a hole like a patch. We normally don't harvest possums, but since we've had so many get in our traps, and he's got such a pretty pelt, we're gonna take him. And make a little bit of money since they keep getting in their goddamn traps. So, every once in a while we just take one. Pretty view though, if I have to say so. Pretty place. Boy, I'm telling you, look at the old man's beard on all these this would be a place to come and forage if you could walk. I can't walk no more. There's one time and it sort of jumped up right out of lid. <laughs> no joke. He said he had one like this one time it jumped up and ran out of the sled. <laughs> it might. <laughs> it ain't going anywhere too fast. <laughs> well, at least he had a good last meal. Well, you know, you take what is provided. So David is now resetting the trap. <laughs> Attempt to reset the trap. This is a good little path. They are, I mean, there's some massive highways through all this weed and brush on this bloated creek. I guess that's the best way to describe it. His anchor held good though, because that's a fat possum. No, he's still. No, he's got beautiful hide on him. Spent his cat food down in the trap. Now they can get a good meal before they get caught. And then they go, crap. Yeah. Got <laughs> crap on him. It may pass us. It's not funny, Dave. Yeah. <clears throat> I will say, look at those beautiful black ears that he has. He's beautiful. He has beautiful black ears. He's got beautiful black tips and spots. I got two traps up here on the bank of the creek. I got two jigs. Okay. I walk down there and check that. Okay. I shall sit here. There's David in concentration mode, <laughs> looking at the ground. Once again, I'm banished to the tracker because I can't make it that far. He's reading sign right now. I'm trying to see if they're traveling another way. Because he didn't have no luck with his foothold. But I can't go to where he's a going. Like a little kid that gets left in the vehicle at the grocery store. We're fixing. We're fixing to have to climb through that little gullet and go up there. That's, that's gonna be fun. This little thing goes like a tank. It's just a little. You just have to be careful with it because it'll roll easy. But I had an OCJ Jeep when my brother did. And uh, that thing was a tank, man. And I swear this thing goes just like that little CJ Jeep. Okay, so that foothold right there, the one that he was studying a few minutes ago, something has worked it from the other side. <clears throat> they just never left their foot in it. He's going to put a little bit more bait out. He's anchoring that on down a little farther. Just because it looked like a big one. So if it's a big coyote. Um, hopefully the trap will hold. 
So he's just anchoring it on down and hoping it comes back and plays with it again. He's gonna. Yep, they've laid there and played with it. Coyotes are weird little dogs. I mean, I'm telling you. It's almost like they like to say, ha ha ha, I see this. I'll take a nap beside it, but I won't go home with you. But maybe to come back and get his foot caught. It must be a smart one. I don't know if y'all can. I can, but there's a super highway right there coming off that hill. Can y'all see that? We're running down right through here. There's also a super highway. Instead of coming right down, coming around to the other side, too. It's definitely in the right spot. It just did catch them. He's anchoring his others pretty deep since now he knows he's got something big. <clears throat> oh, he's playing a cat and mouse with him. He's going to make him wonder what's been going on. This is David getting coy with a coyote. <laughs> now it's going to come back and say, What the crap, man? Who put that there? And then it's going to make it have to put its feet in certain places. And it'll probably get snarred. <laughs> you gotta use their nature against them. I told David I always wore an orange hat. Because when, when he has on his brown coveralls, he looks like Bigfoot. Up here, here he does. <clears throat> I said, I always put orange on your noggin. Somebody will pick you off thinking you're a Sasquatch. <laughs> the stories I tell. Boy, that wind sounds ominous blowing through this holler. This weather change or whatever has been making me spill and have migraines. It must be something coming. That's the one where he has the feather dangle. You see the feather? Well, I can see the feather moving. You probably can't. Can you see the feather move now? Um, there we go. That one's got the feathered angle there. See the feather move? Basically, something's been playing with his traps. <laughs> that makes him mad or not know what. So he's taking pieces of wood and moving them. They're going, what the crap? Who brought that here? And they'll get a little more inquisitive and maybe put their feet in the snare. <laughs> we'll take them out we can get them. They need to come off this property. Up the hill we go. This thing sounds just like that old Jeep might have, that old little Jeep. That old CJ. I seen Bobcat tracks up there in the road. Did you? Up there next to me. Because I ain't put a trap up there yesterday, but I didn't. I'd say it all break loose when the weather changes. Everything's just out playing right now because it's warm and they ain't needing food. I've got four kind of traps out through there and nothing in them. We're fixing to get a new passenger. He's gotta take his tra he's gotta take his trailer off and leave it so that we don't drag everywhere. It's so that he has it if he catches a bunch of stuff in the next couple of days. So um, we picked up a we picked up a, a passenger. <laughs> he's gotta ride home with us. We gotta pick up a fox too. We would not be leaving this back here if anyone else was able to come back here. David is the only one trapped in this farm, the only one with a key. Now we're off to get a fox. Oh, that's so pretty right there. That is so pretty. That is so pretty. Even that ugly tree is pretty today. Maybe it's just because it's Christmas Eve, but even that ugly tree is pretty today. 
And this road is definitely not pretty. No, I can't run where everybody else runs. No, because you're too narrow. Which is not a bad thing. All the time. Articulation. Rocks sticking up out of everything you have to create. Say the beavers had that cover stopped up sometime there and it's washed out. Thank you. I'd say. I'll work on it some next week and fix it. Coming in now, bring some stuff. Travel rock, put my there. Yeah, that's And we're leaving. Is it pretty silhouette? That was a gate. It's a pretty silhouette. So, just a possum today. No beaver. Lots of interest in his coyote sets. So, he uh, is playing a little foot game with him. Man, I cannot. There we go. To see if he can get one caught tonight. Because they are just playing with him. Pretty. This is a pretty area. We used to hog hunt the backside of this hot and heavy. Back in the day. Oh, thank you, Dave. Checking his axle. Did you get all the mud off of it? Maybe. You shook the whole thing. Here's a piece of